Hi, hi, it's Joey Reynolds. I'm uh, out of my mind, and uh, so is my bird. The bird is uh, a spaghetti eater, a bird. This is a cockatiel, and she eats spaghetti. Got it from Dick Biondi, the Wild Eyed Dragon, because, you know, he used to have that great song, on top of spaghetti, all covered with sauce. You know, what? do we have any here? Let me see if they, see if I can get the bird to cooperate here. Does she, uh, she's probably, well, shy. <laughs> I think somewhere along the line, I gotta tell you about Dick Biondi. He was the best disc jockey ever. I was in Buffalo, I was a kid, I was growing up. Of course, I never grew up. But Biondi was, uh, was the guy who got on the air and he made you crazy. Because he would say all these things that he wanted to say, nobody cared that he was, uh, see the adults didn't listen so they didn't know all the little secret things we had with each other. Not only the music, the music was okay, but it was really Dick Biondi. He even got fired at one time. No, he didn't get fired. He. Uh, he, he got, got himself missing, and we had to go looking for him. There were about three days. I think he just found a way to go to Youngstown, Ohio, and get a paycheck or something. I don't know what the hell it was, but anyway, beyond he disappeared, and the whole city was in an uproar. This is way before Chicago. You know, I mean, Chicago is the second largest city, but Buffalo was the best radio city. Why? Because it was the beginning of rock and roll. The Hound Dog was from Buffalo. The uh, Alan Freed was called the Moon Dog. He was in Cleveland. Then he went to New York, of course, and the term rock and roll came about. But Dick Biondi was the guy. He was that. Thank you. And he, uh, who will ever forget on top of spaghetti? Who will ever forget that? It's, well, it's, I think it's. It's not Wednesday. It's not a good spaghetti day. It's a good Italian bird. <laughs> On top of spaghetti. Happy birthday, Dick Biondi. You're great. And I'm so happy that you are back on the air again because you should never have left. And I think I think when you went to North Carolina or South Carolina for a while, we thought this isn't going to last. <laughs> You're going to get back on the air. And then you did. And we're all so happy that, about your film. And I may even take what little I have left and invest in that film. I, I parlayed almost, uh, gee, what's almost a million dollars into 65 bucks. <laughs> Don't use me as your financial guy. So happy birthday, Dick Biondi. <laughs>